and Ted Keller, too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to you! And no one has ever said it better than that famous composer, George Frederick Handel, who has incorporated this renowned phrase into a 1714 oratorio, Messiah, adapted from the King James Bible. But tonight we shall entertain you with a slightly different Messiah that is not nearly as lofty as the one revered by Handel. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. To this side, we have the industrious maintainer of the estate and dedicated collector of battlefield chess sets, the loquacious Mr. Livingston. And this little bundle of trouble over to this side is our delightfully dangerous yet delicately devious damsel, the precious and precocious Popsy Tangella. And have we a most sanctimonious show in store for you tonight. First up, we'll be showing 1973's Messiah of Evil. This is a wonderful movie which we have not shown since Saturday, June 2nd in the year of our Lord, 2018. Oh, that's true. Tangelo has accurately pointed out that our guest for that broadcast was the talented Miss Barbara Crampton from the film Reanimator. But while some of you might now believe that showing this particular film means we'll be inviting a famous guest over to enjoy it with us, those who think this may wish to reconsider. And though our guest tonight is someone you've likely never heard of, hasn't appeared in any major media, nor is renowned for anything in particular, she is quite famous to us. For joining us tonight will be our former housemate, Miss Tiffany Thomas. She'll chime in about tonight's movie and tell us about what life is like in her new city of San Diego, I suppose. Or perhaps she'll tell us what it's like to no longer need to usher Tangella away from trouble, or... I can imagine she can regale us with reasons she chose to stay last night and paint guest chambers green. Yes, I think that would be a good tale to hear. Or perhaps she can recount exactly how she talked you out of the manor in Tiburon and convinced you to purchase this dilapidated antique instead. Well, it wasn't so much the convincing... Or maybe she might explain exactly how she once rang up $5,000 in purchases from Sephora on your credit card in a single nine-minute shopping spree. Enough already. We'll sort these things out when the time is appropriate. In the meantime, don't go away, for it is to be another night of Undead Court Member Fright, right here on Creature Features! Oh, he's got... Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. It's that time of the week again. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. I it's do. Creature Feature time, and we're going to show a wonderful film because we've got Tiffany. You know, Hi. I saved this film just for you. You did not. No, I did because you know why? Because I remember we watched it once five years ago. <gasps> we did. And it frightened you. No, it did. Oh, I'm already scared then. Well, don't be scared because you remember what happens. Or you don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're here with Tiffany Thomas. She is, uh, how would we describe you? Our former roommate, housemate. Yes. yes. Friend mate. Yes. Now, she was here when we first moved into this manor, and uh, she came with uh, Tangela and Tamara. Oh, 
Tamara. Well, but how is Tamara? She's great. She visits me, unlike you. Has she eluded the, 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 the bench warrant from Los Angeles? Maybe. Well, you know, that's why she moved up here, because I she did not want to... secrets. Regrets? Secrets. Secrets. Mm -hmm. All right, no secrets. All right, no secrets. Anyways, she's going to tell us about uh, her time here and the time you're having in San Diego now. Oh, lovely. She lives in San Diego now. She did sure not want did. to live in this manor anymore because of uh, the whole ghost thing. It was we'll talk about ghosts. We're going to talk about this movie. We're going to talk about San Diego. And we're going to talk about those wonderful boots of yours. All the things. All the things. All right, off we go to Messiah of Evil. Don't go away. Nightmares are dreams perverted. I've told them here it wasn't a nightmare, but they don't believe me. They nod and make little notes in my file, and they watch me now, waiting for me to scar my breasts, to eat insects maybe, or to lift my dress like some crazy old woman and urinate on the floor. But there's so little time left. You've got to listen. Not far from here, there's a small town on the coast. They used to call it New Bethlehem, but they changed the name to Point Dune after the moon turned blood red. Point Dune doesn't look any different than a thousand other neon stucco towns. But what happened there, what they did to me, what they're doing now, Coming here. They're waiting at the edge of the city. They're peering around buildings at night. And they're waiting. They're waiting for you. And they'll take you one by one, and no one will hear you scream. No one will hear you scream. I went there looking for my father. He used to spend winters in Point Dune painting. Then, after my mother died, he stayed, and his letters became our only contact. Until recently, when his letters became 
more and more bizarre and finally stopped. I have little time now. I can't write again. You mustn't worry. And please, you must promise not to follow me. I'm afraid to see people anymore. It's better that I wait alone for it to come. Dogs. It doesn't sound like dogs. Has to be. Has to be dogs. I've hunted in them woods out there. Nothing but quail and rabbits. Rabbits don't make that sound. That's Point Dune ahead, isn't it? Why do you want to go to Point Dune? I'm visiting somebody there. I can't understand why anybody would want to go to Point Dune. Visiting. I mean, it's just a piss poor little town. It's deader than hell. No knock. Yes, sir. Machines broke, lady. Don't you have any cash? Well, no, but this is. That's isn't... all right. Forget it. Oh, get out! Get your, uh, your stamps.
Hello creature feature friends, we just wanted to remind you that there are many methods to enjoy our dreaded little program. While most of you are likely watching from one of the numerous television stations that carry our show, and others are watching us on YouTube, there are other ways to watch as well. Frankly, I'm sure most of them have seen quite enough of this show. Shush. Some of you might already be aware that we have custom Creature Features apps for all the major set-top boxes. These are wonderful little devices that allow you to enjoy all kinds of free entertainment on your television set. We have an app for the Roku device, the Apple TV box, and for the wonderful Fire TV stick sold by Amazon. We've put a lot of work into developing these apps and we think you'll be surprised at what a wonderful method this is to watch our show. It's almost like watching Netflix, but it's all creature features all the time. And the image quality of the playback is incredible. It's perfect just the way we want you to see our episodes. So if you have one of these amazing devices, go into their app store and download the Creature Features app. And if you don't have one, consider getting one soon. You'll love it. You'll also make this one quite happy. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. your hair now? A girl named Colby. You know, I I love my hair salon person, but I think I need new hair is my problem. I need, need to fluff. like replace. You, you, you need fluff, you're flat. Floof. No, 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 it's not a matter of floofing. It's, oh. it's a matter of replacing my hair with new follicles. Oh. New ones, like, you know, maybe maybe mm. there's a factory in some place where they make there follicles. There has to be, of course. Yeah. 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 Anyways, welcome back. We are watching Messiah of Evil with Miss Tiffany. If you're just joining us, Miss Tiffany was um, a former housemate of I ours. sure was. She's an old, old friend. That, you know, she knows Tangela better than anybody else here. She's known Tangela I long. do, I do. No, you get to, got some lots, stories to tell oh, about Tangela. Oh, lots of good times. Will you tell stories about? I can't like, tell. Why she doesn't talk? I can't tell you that. Well, see, she doesn't talk either. See, isn't that amazing? Anyways, this movie, um, this woman cut this man's throat by a swimming pool. Why? I don't know. Oh, my. I think okay. I think it's got something to do with her dissatisfaction with the pool service. Oh. Now, maybe he's like the pool guy and she put, he put too much chlorine inside the mm. pool. Speaking of dissatisfaction, I don't like your new maid. What happened to Abigail? Uh, Abigail quit because you... you, you Three buried her in the oh, coffin. That's right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, poor Ab She's still I there? liked Abigail as well. She's still in the coffin? Or did you get no, her out? No, well, she, she, she resigned. Oh. She, she oh, left. I mean, I don't blame her. I had to give a severance pay because of you three. Terrible. Well, you know, it's a good thing she's gone because, you know, Tangella now has gotten more violent. Oh. No, it was you and Tamara who were the violent ones, and now Tangella has taken your. Never. Oh, well, maybe not you, but Tamara was, was horrid. Oh, yeah. Absolutely She horrid. was the instigator. So tell me about San Diego. What's it like? It's amazing. It's sunny. There's a lot of sand. Right. A lot of cute military boys. Nice. Lots, lots of muscle. Right. Yeah. So what do you do uh, without having, like, a haunted mansion to live in? I sleep well at night. Because? There's no ghost. Oh. Yeah. We had some issues here. It, apparently... You did not like the ghosts. Mm -mm. No. Well, you know, your cousin Tabitha was on the program recently. Yes. And she was telling us that uh, you're having quite the time down there with the entire party thing and all this. Oh, I sure am. Right. I love it. Living my best life. Amazing. Amazing. All right. I'm going to signal we got to get back to this film. But when we come back, uh, I want to hear everything about uh, the move that oh. when you went down. I heard it was a big oh. story with that. Oh, yes. All right, off we go. Back to Messiah of Evil. Don't you dare go away or else it's going to make me quite sad. Father? Oh, 
harder. June 30th. For three nights now, I, I haven't slept. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Visions are coming from areas of my mind that, that I don't understand. July 2nd. These grotesque images keep crowding in on me. At night, I find myself wandering alone in town, catching glimpses of horrid animals I, I know can't be there along the dark beach. Faces haunt me, pale women with sleepless eyes and shadowy figures staring toward the black water. He didn't return that night. I walked along the beach in the morning, as I'm sure he must have coming out of the nightmares he spoke of, back into the daylight. I drove into town later. It was hot already. I saw an art gallery and I thought they might know my father. The art dealer was blind. Her fingers moved like a pale spider over my face. Joseph Lang, do I know who he is? We do get magazines in Point Dune, which some of us can even read. Well, I meant I'm looking for him. And I thought maybe you knew him personally. Point Dune isn't an artist colony. I heard he did take people out there, mostly women. But they weren't from Point Dune. Uh, there were some people in this morning looking for your father, which means some people do like his brand of art. Who were they? I don't know. 
strangers. I think they're staying at the Seven Seas. as old as the hills. Mama delivered me herself. She took me from between her legs. Bloody little mess. Just about to feed me to the chickens. And Daddy said, maybe we could use a boy, Lottie. That's how I came into the world. Excuse me. They said at the gallery that you were looking for Joseph Lang. He's my father, and, and I just... Just come in and close the door. All I want to know is if you know... Close the door. Go ahead, Charlie. It's hard to remember back on things, but I... I remember the red moon my daddy told me about only once. Mama gave him a bad look when he talked about it. He was only a boy himself then. He called it the blood moon. He said that was the night that he lost religion. He learned that men could do... Could do horrible things. Like animals. I'm really hungry. I've got the munchies. <laughs> Shut up. Go ahead, Charlie. What about the moon? A hundred years ago, the moon started turning red up in the sky and things began to happen. It was like the red of the moon got up there. The closer the people were being jerked toward hell, where the people started bleeding out of control. They found children eating raw meat. It was like the town was festering with a, an open sore until the night that they... until the night they came down out of the canyon and... Who came down, Charlie? I gotta go. Charlie. Take the wine, Charlie. Well, thanks for your kindly hospitality. I'm looking for my father. Do you know him? I know of him. They told me at the gallery. I... We drove by the gallery this morning. I happened to see one of your father's works in the window. I didn't know that he lived here. They didn't have any of his paintings there. Well, that's popularity. Because they did this morning. I offered to buy one, and the old woman said they weren't for sale. As a matter of fact, it was a portrait of you. Tom likes to collect things. Like old drunks. Old-fashioned retort. <laughs> What's a retort? Tony, you're half girl, half child, and half wit. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on it, sister. Don't be afraid. I'm an ugly old man, but I'm harmless. About your daddy. They mustn't hear me. I got him fooled. I get drunk, sleep on the sidewalk like a dog, and he let me be. I ain't crazy. I old Charlie. What about my father? You have to kill him. You're crazy. You can't bury him. Don't put him in the ground. You gotta burn him. You gotta put fire to his body.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Miss Tiffany stepped away for a moment to, uh, I, you, she's going through your clothes in your closet. Why? You've got nothing that'll fit her. She was looking for something appropriate to wear. Oh, well, maybe the coats, right? Perhaps. She wears like size zero. I think there are sizes smaller than that. There's nobody size zero except for Tangella. She's like, she's like miniature sized. All right, well, it's time to do letters because uh, you guys send us mail and we have to read it, right, Mr. Livingston? Indeed. And what do we got? We have one from Greensboro, North Carolina. North Carolina. I love North Carolina because it's just north of South Carolina. Did you know they grow rice? They grow rice in North Carolina. I had no idea. All right, we've got a letter from Tracy W. in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, the editors, been watching Creature Features for several months now, was introduced by longtime watcher Tom from Rex, Georgia. Oh, we know Tom from Rex, Georgia. Really? Remember, we, we wondered if he had any Tyrannosaurus Rexes in Rex, Georgia. Uh. It has been an enjoyable activity to participate and watch some of the kitschy and otherwise lesser known movies of the scary genre. Have always liked the word genre and thought it should be used as a proper name more often. That's not a bad idea. Genre, yeah, genre. Is it's name. like it's like the informal of Jennifer. Genre. I I don't know. I'm ready to let it. Don't judge. It would be unisex like Stacy Kim or Roger. Yeah, Roger. I had a grandmother named Roger. It's true. William Shatner has been mentioned a few times, and I think he would be a great guest to have on the show. So do we. Tough luck editing him though. Until that time, I thought I could do my part and bring him to you as none other than James Tiberius Kirk. I don't even want to look. Is this what I think it is? I'm not sure. Oh, you looked already. The way, this William Shatner may not be very talkative, but imagine he and Tangella could have lively, stimulating conversations. This would allow more time for Livingston to focus on important things around the mansion. Andrew to recover from his wounds and Vincent to finally get that haircut. Love always, Tracy W. Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, I gotta see what she said. What is this? Oh my goodness. It is a genuine Captain Kirk doll. Now look, it even it has the original called, plastic bags as I think well. they're called action figure. This is not an action figure. An action figure is not this large. This is, this, uh, this is William Shatner, look. And he's at attention. He is ready to stand in my small garbage can and watch the show with me and read mail with me, look. No, maybe not. All right, we're gonna work out the technical difficulties here. But uh, no, that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Tracy. Absolutely amazing. All right, what else we got, Mr. Livingston? We have a letter from AARP on the return address. It's very AARP, strange. this is the, the, the blokes who do the old people thing. Well, 55 and older. You and me both. All right, what do we got? Oh, no, it's not. This is not from AARP. You know why? Because I know AARP does not send out zombie patches. Hmm. All right, this says uh, Code Red 2015 Zombie Apocalypse Marin Council BSA. That is Boy Scouts of America, is it not? I don't think BSA. so. BSA. No, it is. All right, here we go. Uh, Vince Tangella, an old guy. It literally says an old guy. You got him to smile. As you are scouts, here is a patch for you. Thanks for showing such crap films. Can I say crap on television? Yes, you may. All right. I believe you just did. All right. Without you, these films would be lost in time and space. 
How about showing more Soviet sci-fi? I totally agree with the Soviet sci-fi. I love Soviet sci-fi. Oh, dear. You know, well, I understand some Russian. I understand like 15 words of Russian. It's important. 15 I, I, too many. And it's the 15 that they use the most. May the force be with you, St. Luke. Well, thank you, St. Luke in, where are you? Washington, D.C., maybe? Who knows? Wonderful patch. I'll put it on my coat. Sometime, somewhere. And one more. Last letter? Last letter. All right, this last letter is from Gerund Matthews in Peoria, Illinois. And he goes, uh, Dear Creature Features, I've been meaning to ask you an important question about... That's a, that's a somewhat rather peculiar name, Gerund. Is that, is that like German? No. Well, it's, it's a noun that functions as a verb. Odd. All right, he, uh, he goes on. I've been meaning to ask you an important question regarding your show, and uh, what kind of parents would name their baby boy Gerund? English teachers. It's possible. I, he must have been mercilessly bullied by other lads in his English class. I would assume. It's ridiculous. I, I wonder if somewhere in the world there's a, a woman named Adverb, and she knows Gerund. It's a possibility. Uh, Jaren, do uh, write to us and, and let us know the etymology of this moniker of yours, if you would, because it's rather peculiar. Thanks for writing. That's it. That's it. That's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own by email, send it to the address you see appearing under my shoe. Or if you'd like to send a package in the mail like Miss Tracy did from North Carolina, send it to the address you see appearing under my knee. We'll be uh, right back with Miss Tiffany soon, but first let's get back to Messiah of Evil. I spent the afternoon in town asking about my father. The reaction was always the same. People would only stare or shake their heads and back away. July 6th, our lady called this morning. I listened to her, but couldn't let her know I was here. My voice would have terrified her. At times, I make noises which don't seem human, and my mind is letting go. I try to remember the past, my daughter, but I can't. Instead, I, I think of death, always death, What are you doing here? You look so comfortable, I didn't want to wake you. You're very pretty when you sleep. Mm, I'm going to take a nap. Want to come? Later. You can't stay here. Just for the night. I'm willing to pay. We had a little trouble at the motel. You remember the old gentleman who was telling us the story? Of course I do. He was mad. Perhaps. But when they found him this afternoon, he was dead. 
the police came and questioned us. Needless to say, they weren't very understanding what with me and my two traveling companions. And then suddenly, every other motel locked and shuttered its windows. You're the only other person we know. What happened to the old man? They found his body in the alley. He must have passed out or something. The police theorized that it must have been dogs. Well, they found his body half-eaten. I let them stay. I never understood why. It was as if I'd come into a foreign town where I didn't speak the language and was sharing a house with people I'd have never met in my other life. Would you like some more? Yes, thank you. This wind is strange. Hmm. It's like the Syracuse. It blows across the Mediterranean from Africa. I was born in Portugal, in a castle. I thought it was a villa in Spain. My mother was a Portuguese, an aristocrat. My father was rich and American. I have a castle that stands above the sea. One of our legends tells us... Tom, what are we doing in this shitty place? I don't know, really, as I was saying. Every race has their legends. The Romans, the Greeks, even the folk here in Point Dune had their stories. I'm interested in their story about the blood moon. <coughs> What's your father doing here? He didn't know anybody here. He could paint. Has your father been painting long? <laughs> Laura's quite the art critic. She used to model. Photographers, mostly. She specialized in exotic poses with snakes. Oh, Tom just gets so clever when he's trying to get into somebody's pants. Listen, when you go to bed with him tonight, why don't you let him sleep? Laura, I am tired of having to apologize for you. Yuck! This stuff is shitty tasting. You're not supposed to eat the fuzz. He said he was a collector of old legends. He thought my father knew something of the legend of Point Dune. I told him my father wasn't here. He said they could wait. Are you lost? No. I've been walking. Have you seen the fires on the beach? No, I haven't. 
Good night. There is something you could do for me. What? My zipper is stuck. On my vest. I'm sure one of your traveling companions could help. Well, they're very angry with me. They get jealous when I'm around strange women. How awkward. Really? So if you just... Uh... It wasn't very hard. No. I'm sure you could have done it yourself. Good night. Just unzip a man and say good night. You are tired, aren't you? So am I. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are returning uh, from Messiah of Evil. You missed the last segment because you were away. Oh, I was going shishi. Ah, yeah, shishi. That is mm -hmm. a thing. So uh, in this film, did you know that uh, the creators of this film tried to re-release it as uh, Day of the Dead? Return of the Dead. Return of the Dead. Huh. And they got sued by George Romero, who did Night of the Living Dead. You don't say. I, I do say. Hmm. But speaking of dead... We were talking about the story of you moving back to San Diego and how yes. you did not use a regular moving van. I did not. What did you use? Um, I had to go get two hearses. Hearses? Yes. She used two hearses to move home because you could not get a U-Haul truck. No, I could not. And did you know that one of the ghosts from the house came with me? You took one of Tanchella's goats? Not on purpose. It just tagged along. And then I had to send it back with the hearses, of course. So you paid to have a hearse take Two. a goat all the way back here. I did no, not hear this goat. tale. A goat, not a goat. Is this an arrangement that she made with uh, Tangella? No. Well, I, you know she would have missed that goat. It's a ghost. Oh, a ghost? A ghost, not a goat. A ghost snuck followed in the you to yes. San Diego from here. The ghost wanted to leave the house too. Well, you know, this one had been popping out for some time and she's been hiding. She's always done that. No, well, no she was like, she sat in that chair. She. The very chair. I actually interviewed her for like 15 seconds. Oh. And then she became cross and decided uh, no more. She would have none of she it. She was done with it. So, um, San Diego. Yes. What is your favorite thing to do in San Diego that you could not do here? Sleep without being disturbed. Sleep? Mm-hmm. Now, this is like the quietest house in, in Northern California. Oh, Vincent Poo, it is not. No? No. Well, the problem is not the house, it's Tangella. You know, she never sleeps. This is true. She never, and she's always blowing things up. Yes. Yeah, you know, she blows yes. up our neighbor. Yes. You know, she did Timmy, do that. Timmy from Lassie lives down the road from us, and she blows him up all the time. Oh, poor guy. And then poor Andrew, the handyman. You you remember him? Yes. She no, she tortures him. It's it's really gone quite mad since you've left. She's I think good you at should it. move back. No, that's okay. Thank you, though. 
No, it, it would keep the house in better order oh. if you were here to it's maintain her behavior. It's just, she's a lot of work. Yes, I know this. Yeah. Right. I think we can get back to the film. Okay. All right, uh, stick around. We're going to watch more of Messiah of Evil, and then uh, we're going to come back and talk some more with Miss Tiffany. Don't you dare go away. Going out tonight? I'm splitting. Oh. How long? Forever. It's a long time. Why? Because I'm tired. I'm tired of him. I'm tired of this place. He didn't get lost, you know. He came here on purpose. Why the hell point doing? Trenton Beach? Maybe you can learn to body surf. He's just farting around with us. Yeah, we'll let him fart around. I'm going to San Francisco. Mickey will take me in. Who's Mickey? He's a drummer. What about me? You're just a kid. You'll be all right. He's giving me too many lines. Hey, Laura. Leave me some dope, huh? Want to ride? What the hell? Oh, hey, thanks. You coming back from the waiting? The what? The waiting at the beach. Uh uh. Do you like Wagner? Oh yeah, sure. Super. You can um let me off in town. The guys must have been uh, working late. Moonlighting. Moonlight. Everybody was out there tonight. Even the little creatures. I found a lot of them. A lot of what? Beach rats. What's wrong? Nothing. What do you do with them? Do with them? I eat them. That's what I do with them. I've got a 
another if you'd like. No, 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 thank you. I, uh, I I'm just going to get out right here. You don't want it? No, 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 no. Uh, it's a very nice night to walk. <laughs> Jesus.
Hello, Creature Features. My name is Tyler Robinson. I am from Liberty, Missouri. Absolutely love your show. One of my absolute favorites you guys showed was Night of the Living Dead, where you had the special guests Jessica and Michael from Grim Life Collective. I also love their videos. They're pretty awesome. So, yeah, totally love your show and keep up the good work, and we'll see you guys next time. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Dun 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 Did you hear the music we played at the commencement? It was it was Handel's Messiah. I did. The hallelujah thing. It was of course we're joined by Tangella as well. You know, I I don't think that hat's supposed to go on like that, Tangella. Look. No, it actually looks rather stylish. Look at you. Fashion forward. So if you're just joining us, this is Tiffany, our former housemate, and uh her and Tangella, her and Tangella go quite a ways back. She knew we blew up stuff together. And she did all the blowing up. Now, remember that time we were in a club, and she blew up the women's loo. Oh, that was a good one. Good no, one. we we were banned from that club for forever after this that. This looks silly, Tangella. No, that looks wonderful. All right, well, so we have a hat show going on here. So maybe mm -hmm. I'll just uh, talk about the film while they're doing the hat show. Um, this film. Uh, was comprised mostly of uh, actors from NASA. NASA. No, NASA. Our I didn't know that the National Aerospace Association trained actors. They must this be is, smart. No, this is your look. It's the wrong color, though. I like it. No, it should be purple. Do you have a purple one back there? No. I like this color. You know, she's me. she's she's always doing these things to our guests. We've had no, we've had famous movie stars sit in that chair, and she starts putting hats upon their heads. I can't hear you. No, that's that's what? a nice look for you. No, you, you should keep that one. It's Christmassy. Oh. It's yes, festive. I like it. All right, uh, I think we should get back to the film, and uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to see which one she chooses. So uh, don't you dare go away, please. Bye. July seventeenth. I dread the night's coming on now. The fires on the beach are more numerous. And more of them are coming out at night from the town. It's more horrifying than I expected. A crazy old man told me a story today about Point Dune a century ago and a dark stranger arriving and the monstrous things that happened to people when he came. I thought I was going mad. But worse now, I think the hideous things I'm seeing are not imaginary. What are you doing? What is this bullshit? I can't get any stations in. Laura didn't say anything else. here why are they all out there are no stations in this town you can't hear anything can't we go Tom it's not that I care it's just that I'm scared of what I don't know I tried to sleep and I fell in and out of half dreams. 
I remember my father saying that you're about to awaken when you dream that you're dreaming. Father? I felt like I was losing control. Losing control? It's not nightmares any longer, but something like a sickness that's still there with the sunrise. I think my body is being taken over by some unspeakable evil that's turning me into... on in the studio. I thought maybe he... I thought someone was in there. Come on. Come on. It's all right. There was a painting. Come on, you've been having bad dreams. Nobody in town knows him. I don't know where else he'd go. Arletty, I think you should leave here. That's a great idea. Why don't you both leave? Then maybe I could get a little sleep.
What? Uh, I, I don't... Where? The police said it must have been a mental problem. They had picked up my father twice in town. He was found wandering around before dawn. He never knew where he was, what he was doing in the dark streets. And then, people reported seeing him on the beach, building a huge sculpture. The tide must have collapsed it on top of him. After this is over and we get through with some paperwork, uh, I think it should take the young lady out of town. We're not really a tourist town and strangers only bring problems. July 20th. If the cities of the world were destroyed tomorrow, they would all be rebuilt to look like Point June. Entirely normal. Quiet. Silent, though, because of the shared horror in common. I know it's hiding now beneath its stucco skin. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Messiah of Evil with the lovely Tiffany Thomas. And so um, before we get back to this film, um, there's a new thing we're going to do. Do you like commercials? Yeah, of course. Advertisements? Advertisements. Like you, the kind you see on television. Advertisements, yes. Right, yes. So, so like products, right? Yes, yes. So sometimes there's good ones, right? Sometimes. So I'm going to do a new thing sometimes, maybe every time. I don't know. I have not decided yet where I show a commercial that I like. Okay. My favorite adverts. So Let's the first one I'm going to show is a Starburst commercial. I love this. It's not on anymore, but you're going to enjoy it. Here we go. Watch. You know why I love Starburst? It's a contradiction. It's solid, yet juicy, like a liquid. Ugh, boring. Living dead. That is a contradiction, my friend. It's not a contest, sir. Uh, everything's a contest, sir. Starburst exists in two separate... Ugh, boring. <laughs> Starburst exists. You are boring me to death, and I am already dead. You're boring me back to death. Okay. Starburst, it's a juicy contradiction. What do you think of that? Oh, where's my candy? I'm bored. No, the zombie was wonderful, was he not? Oh, yes. I mean, very handsome zombie. He did not bore you, did he? I like his cheekbones. They're very high. Nice cheekbones, mm -hmm. yes. They're important. Good contour. All right, let's get back to this film, right? Okay. All right, off we go. Back to Messiah of Evil. Don't go away. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now. How is she? I remember the night my father died. He was coming home from work, drunk. He started... started bleeding out of control. 
They found children eating raw meat. And it, it was like the town was pestering with a, an open sore until the ninth day. We're never going to leave this place, are we? Until the night they came down out of the canyon and... Somebody came while you were gone. Who? I don't know. I heard this noise at the other end of the house. It sounded like somebody crying. I looked all over, but I didn't see nobody. I'm bored. Why don't you uh, go to a film? A what? A movie. Oh, a show. Great. I get to take the car. Then. You two can be alone together. I sat in my father's chair. The mundane scenes around me were of Point June. They were slightly distorted and foreboding, as if they were hiding some message. Just as I knew now, the town was hiding some dark fear. July 21st. My body temperature has dropped to 85. This morning I passed blood again. It's as if the thing that's taking over my body no longer needs human blood. I didn't feel it. Why didn't I feel it, Tom? I don't know. It's as if the thing that's taking over my body no longer needs human blood. After the revolution, he'd be shot. Got pale hands with a mark of a decadent life. That's how I knew. Tom, why did they lie to me? Those weren't his hands. They were coarse and large. That wasn't my father. You sure? Yes! God. Tony.
<laughs> you can't take all three of us. Wrong. isn't always for his tune, not just with money.
Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. My guest tonight is William Shatner. He's here to say hello from the Starship Enterprise. No, it's actually Tiffany Thomas, our former housemate. Hi. Wave to Tiffany. You know, her and uh, Tangela go quite a ways back. You knew Tangela when she would speak in front of cameras, did you not? I sure did. Yeah, she will not do it now. Don't talk. No. Don't talk. You know, she, she did once, and uh, I paid her to do it. You did and not. And they cut the part out. It made so many people cross with us. It was sad. Anyways, uh, we are watching Messiah of Evil with Captain Kirk and Tiffany, and it's a, it's a wonderful film. The director of this film apparently directed Howard the Duck. Did you ever see that film? No. Sounds quack. Quack? Duck, quack. Ducks do quack. But this film was a complete dud. It was uh, not, not received very well. So uh, anyways, he, uh, he did not do anything else after that, did he? Probably Maybe not. Maybe if he named it Gerald the He became the a writer. All right. So his directing career was over after this film and Howard the Duck. I mean, Can you believe that? Yes. Fun stuff. All right, Tiffany, what are you doing for fun these days? What's, what's in the future for Tiffany? Um, playing with Tangela. Tangela, you know, she, she doesn't sleep. Oh. She's going to keep you up all night long. Oh, boy. It's going to be a fun night. No, you know, maybe you could find out where she's putting all these dead bodies. There's a smell in this house. She's been digging things up, and we don't I know where she's in place. I can't tell secrets, Vincent, but I told well, you Well, she won't this. tell me. Just tell Livingston so that he can dispose of them properly. I'll think about Give it. Give him a proper Christian burial. Oh, she's terrible. How do you like having she's her back? She's lovely. Yeah, she does not have enough friends. She does not play well with others. Oh, she blows everything up. Well, I know she blows everything up, but it's it's even she she's not even friendly with other pyromaniacs. No, I mean. they're they're too competitive. She had two pyromaniac friends, and they cannot find all their body parts. Oh, it's a sad tale. Angela. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think she's a sweet girl. She's just misunderstood. I, mm. I agree. I think so, too. Yes. All right. Let's get back to this film. And when we come back, uh, we're going to come back on the other side of the ending of this film. And we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? Yes. All right. Off we go. Back to Messiah of Evil. Do not go away, please.
TV when we heard them. They, they came crashing through the sliding glass door making that, that noise, that, that awful noise. We tried to get the children, but they already had them in the hall. They went after them like sharks. My husband dragged me out and we ran to some neighbors who had guns, but it didn't stop and they kept attacking anyway. But he's still there. You've got to help. I, I can't. July 28th. I cut myself this morning. My finger was nearly severed. Without feeling any pain, I... No! I ripped to go off at the joint. I felt nothing at all. I, I'm disintegrating rapidly.
Valerie. I tried to warn you. I dragged one of the bodies they killed up on the beach, but you still didn't leave. A little time left. We'll have to go. Tell people on the outside. Warn them that what happened a hundred years ago is happening again. What? Listen. Please listen. He came a hundred years ago. A hunter first saw him. He told the hunter that he had been a minister and had come over the mountain with the Donner Party. He passed that horrible winter with them and saw men commit hideous acts. He said that he himself had eaten human flesh, but had survived because he had faith, faith in a new master. The hunter didn't understand when the dark stranger said he was spreading this new religion. <laughs> when they found the hunter, he looked as if he'd been attacked by some kind of animal, half eaten. As he was dying, he told them of the dark stranger. And they assumed he was delirious. When he went into a fit, biting at them like a rabid dog, they shot him. A dark stranger watched the chaos. And he walked into the sea and said he would return a hundred years later to a world tired and disillusioned, a world looking back to old gods and old dark ways. Our world. You've got to go now. Most of this town is infected. It's got to be destroyed before the moon turns blood red and he returns to lead them up the coast and inland into the cities. We can both go. They took me and they did this to me. If you love your daddy, you will kill him. Okay. 
can't bury him. Don't put him in the ground. You gotta burn him. Put fire to his body. <laughs> This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. Hair styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Arletty? <coughs> Arletty? Arletty? Why didn't you leave? I came back here to get you. Tom, it's too late. I saw them in town. They're traveling in packs like wolves. I think the whole town.
I was dreaming. We were in a forest, and it was snowing. The trees were wet, and you were looking up. And I asked you what, what you were thinking. You said you were thinking about all the people who were born and, and died. All the trees went on living. Then we came to a village and we spent the night in a wood room. The next day it was so cold. We stayed in bed to keep warm. We thought we must have made it out of the town. And then we saw the first one. They were coming down to the beach as they did every night. To stare at the ocean and went. could go no further. They were all around, watching us, staring at us, as if we were trapped animals, caught, already bleeding, yet still struggling hopelessly. We hoped to make it to one of the small boats on the horizon. And then we would drift out and head for safety down the coast. He was having trouble with his arm. I had hurt him. And now I couldn't help him. Boats didn't seem any nearer.
And the last thing I saw was the setting sun. They hadn't let me drown. They had pulled me from the water. They had prevented my last escape. That night, most of the town was on the beach. They built their fires, not for warmth, but as beacons to be seen from the black ocean. They dressed me in an old gown. I was to be offered, and following their prophecy, the moon turned blood red, and the dark stranger returned. Let me go with a story that condemned me. Knowing that they wouldn't listen. He was right. I made it back. And they put me here. He told them of the dark stranger. And they assumed he was delirious. When he went into a fit, biting like a rabid dog, they shot him. Like the night the moon turned blood red. red. And the moon got up. Horrible, pain. Closer, who were the no people longer being jerked, Lord Hell. Crashed into farmhouses and gorged themselves. And do horrible things. For an animal. Folks were shooting through the streets, streets a hundred years ago. <laughs> During the day, they let me out with the others. We sit in the sun. And wait, we sleep, and we dream, each of us dying slowly in the prison of our minds. And at night, I roam the empty halls, listening to their whispering. I try to find someone who can hear me, because I have to warn them that back there in that small town on the coast, they're growing in number and moving out into the rest of the world, spreading their sickness. And in order to live, they'll take you one by one, and no one will hear you scream. I'm confused. She was placed in a in a lunatic asylum. She was because they think she's mad. She is. No, she's not mad. She she's actually very mad. No, she she actually Vincent, went through this mad. with the crazy dead cult. So she was mad. I don't understand these films, and I was hoping you would explain it to me. You've seen it twice now. She's mad. I prefer the first. No, she's not mad. Well, it's mm -hmm. the same movie you saw last time. I prefer the first time. Oh my God, Tiffy Poo. She's, you know, watching films with her is 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 far more simple. She says nothing. Well, you're yeah. the one that She either to smiles come. or she frowns. What do you think of this film? See, that's it. That's a, that's mm. that's the entire review right there. She just gives me one nod of the head, and I know. Oh, you could do it well. No, you did not like this film. So one thumbs down, one thumbs up for this film. Maybe we'll show it again in uh, what's it been? Three years since we last shown it. Two and a half years. Two and a half years since we last shown this film. All right. Anyways, enough of this. Uh, what are you doing next? Oh, I'm going to go to Brazil because I'm with so much of the carnival, so I'm going to Rio de Janeiro. And I adore going there. It's cold, delicious, music, food, samba, all that. It's a delicious. Do you understand this language she speaks? Yes. What language I is it? I taught you this. Portuguese? Mm -hmm. So, in English, please. Oh. The king's, the queen's English. What are you doing? I'm going to Brazil. Right. Yeah. And? And then just having a great time there. So are you going to work on your tan on the beach? 
of Brazil? No, I'm going to go with the monkeys. I go there to see my little monkeys. Monkeys? Primates? You know yeah, they're like this big. Oh, you sent me a photograph mm -hmm. once. I named one Vincent Pooh. Well, you know, I, I, I don't mind having a monkey named Beverly. She wanted a pet monkey, and we had to say no. You should have a pet monkey. No, it's, monkeys it's are the illegal. Best. No, it's not. No, the, 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 the ghosts local magistrate too? will come and, and take the monkey away, and then she'll think, imagine how sad she'll be then. Locking up a maid is illegal too. No, well, that's different. No, oh. murder is permittable here, but monkeys are not. It's that's the law. That's wrong. No, I know, but uh, I'd rather have monkeys than murder, but you know. Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't have monkeys. All right, well, anyways. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Tiffany. It's wonderful seeing nice. you. You're going to hang out for a few days, and yes. we're going to go have fun. Get but, in uh, trouble. Keep this one out of trouble. It would be nice to have a mm, respite a from I'm all this trouble. bailing out. All right, and uh, next time you come up, we're going to have you back on the show, right? Yes. Right. All right, and as far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching the film tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed Tiffany. I certainly did. And uh, next week, what are we doing next week? We've got a guest next week, right? now. We have no guests next week. Oh, well, no guests next week means we'll show a, a different kind of film, and uh, it'll be fun. So you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and don't forget, we love you. See you next time. So, uh, Tiffany. Yes. You know, I'm getting a bit bored up here, and I'm thinking oh, I should you? come down to San Diego for some nightlife. Mm, I think it's best you stay here. <laughs>